Good morning, ESM. I'm Isabel. Let's start off with Olivia with news. Sergeant Mark Edward recently received a challenge, a challenge coin from a four-star general and director of the NSA, Paul Nakasone. A challenge coin is a specially designed coin. It's given to someone to confirm membership in an organization or group, or it can also honor a person for a special achievement. Mark, a 2010 graduate of ESM, was honored with his challenge coin for his work on the COVID-19 pandemic. Mark is currently stationed in San Antonio. On Wednesday, the U.S. reported 3,100 coronavirus deaths, which is 20% higher than the previous record. Over the course of the pandemic, 273,799 people have died of the virus and 13.9 million people have been affected. The healthcare system is struggling to support the weight of this worsening impact. Due to the fear that there will be a further spike, the CDC is telling people to act as if you are infected if you were around people this Thanksgiving holiday. On Tuesday, Messina Mayor Tim Courier was arrested after a police pursuit through the village near the Canadian border. Courier had been targeted as a part of an undercover investigation of drug sales and possession. Courier was charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance, tampering with physical evidence, and failure to comply with an officer. He was indicted remotely Tuesday and ordered to reappear at a later date. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any boy or girl interested in joining the bowling programs this year, as of now, we will start December 14th. So sign up on Family ID now. Bowling is a very safe activity that can hopefully bring some sense of normal back to school life. If interested, sign up on Family ID. Senior quotes and senior college photos are overdue. Go to esmyearbook.org to submit your quote and for directions about getting in the college. If we don't have your quote by December 7th, we will not be able to include it. Don't miss out. Today we'll have mixed sun and clouds with a high of 47. Tomorrow on Saturday there will be highs in the mid to lower 40s with possible snow showers. Sunday will drop down to a high of 35 and will be mostly cloudy. Monday and Tuesday there will be mixed sun and clouds with highs in the mid 30s. Wednesday we will have a high of 38 with possible afternoon showers. I'm Gabby with your weather. Syracuse women's basketball game. The newly renovated dome had a leak after a referee last night found water droplets that were found on the court. The game was moved to Carmelo K. Anthony Center where both men's and women's basketball practice. It was held as a private scrimmage and the women's basketball team beat Lincoln PA 90-39. Tonight the Syracuse men's basketball team plays Niagara at 8 o'clock. Last night on Wednesday Night Football, after six days of delay, the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers finally play. The Steelers improved to 11-0 on the season and a 19-14 win. Ben Roethlisberger threw 31 of 6, 36 for 266 yards, one touchdown in the interception. Even though the Steelers won, fans are worried about how the rest of the season will go after head coach Mike Tomlin said the Steelers played like a var junior varsity football team. In a blockbuster trade, the Houston Rockets have traded Russell Westbrook to the Wizards for John Wall and a first-round pick. With this trade, the Rockets will re reunite John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins, who were co teammates at college. I'm Tanner with your sports.